Hi, hello guys, welcome back to my channel again. It's me, MNLG, and I welcome you all once again here in my YouTube channel, MNL Gamay, for another science learning session. Of course, for today's vlog, we will be discussing about your module 4, particularly your day 1 and day 2, and what is that all about? Well, well for our day 1, this is the topic propagation of sound, and for the next lesson, we'll be dealing with speed of sound. Alright, before we proceed to our lesson, now I like to have shout out muna tayo sa aking mga um, you know, students natin. At hindi lang sa students actually, lahat ng mga sumubaybay sa aking YouTube channel, um, those um, students who also like to learn about some concepts, na welcome na welcome kayo naman dito. So I'd like to say hi and again, salamat. Thank you very much for watching all my videos. Especially sa aking mga sudyante na hawak ayon, and the rest of grade 8 students in our school under um, with Sir Chadi and Ma'am Jel. So, hi and hello sa inyong lahat. I hope na you take also a little bit time watching and learning at the same time in these videos. Kasi para sa inyo talaga to, this is the new normal, okay? Alright, so again, shout out kay Lance uh, ng kindness. Shout out din sa aking mga um, students ng piety uh, and shout out din pala sa aking mga hawak na mga sexuals okay, we have kindness, courage um, piety peace and prudent alright so let's move on to our topic our first lesson will be okay well, in this particular module this is the learning competency our learning competencies is that investigates the effect of temperature and the speed of sound. Here are the objectives. At the end of the module, the learners should be able to first determine the effect of temperature on the speed of sound. Second, compute the speed of sound in air at different temperature. So the objectives of our lesson. Before we begin to our lesson, Right, so to unlock those difficulties that you have in your mind, allow me to, to share first the definition of some terms that would help us understand the topic about speed of sound. First, of course, the word propagation. It is the act or process of propagating, especially the process by which a disturbance such as the motion of electromagnetic or sound waves is transmitted through a medium such as air or water. The next is sound. Sound is a vibration that travel through the air or another medium and can be heard when they reach a person's or animal's ear. Sound produced by continuous regular vibrations. The next one is sound wave or sound waves. It is a wave of compression and rare fraction by which a sound is propagated in an elastic medium such as air. Number four is elasticity. Elasticity is involved whenever atoms vibrate. Next, we have longitudinal waves. It is a wave of compression and refraction by which sound is propagated in elastic medium such as air. These are waves in which the displacement of the medium is in the same direction as or the opposite direction too. The direction of propagation of the wave in longitudinal waves the displacement of the medium is parallel to the propagation of the wave for our next term we have compression a compression is a region in a longitudinal wave where the particles are closest together while rare fraction is a region in a longitudinal wave where the particles are farthest apart Alright class, those are the terms that we'll be using in our discussion about propagation of sound. Well, propagation can be also like um, generate, produce, disseminate, spread, develop, and grow. Alright, so we're now defining all the terms. I do have one question. Why is it that you're able to hear sounds like that? So let us answer first the question, how to propagate sound? Sound is a sequence of waves of pressure which propagates through compressible media such as air or water. Alright, 
So in that explanation, I mentioned the word media or medium. Okay, um, this media or medium, okay, media means to say plural, medium, we are talking about one. These are the particles of matter. These are the phases of matter. And we know that we have three types of matter. We have solid, liquid, and gas. And one of the reasons why we're able to hear that is because of vibrations. That is the reason why we're able to hear those sounds, because of vibration. Medium. So what is this medium that we're referring in physics? A medium is a material that carries a wave. Visual class, you can see a presentation there of a particle model of matter. So let me discuss that one further for you to understand better, right? So please uh, take a look in your module. In your module, it's stated here that sound is produced by vibrations of particles. In order for us to understand how sound travels in different media, we have to recall our idea about different state of matter. Consider the particle model of matter below. Alright, so I mentioned earlier that when we talk about media, these are the three states of matter. We have solid, liquid, and gas. Let me discuss the particle model of matter in relation to the propagation of sound. Okay, obviously we are comparing here um, the arrangement of the particle. First, in solid, no, because the molecules are closer to each other, so we expect that it has a strong bond to each other. It vibrates a little, but not much compared to liquids and gases because of its limited space. It vibrates faster when heated. That's the characteristics of solids. Now for the liquid, of course, as you can see in the particles, particles and liquids may weakly bond to each other, break their bonds easily, and vibrate and move on more than those in solid move faster when heated. The reason why it vibrate uh, faster compared to solids because because the molecules are loosely arranged, it's not too close and not too far from each other, so they can move freely. But in the third picture, we have here a gas particle. As you can see that the molecules are far from each other, so we could expect that it can freely move. Okay, it, no bonds between them have much more energy than those of a solid grid, and it fly around, bouncing off each and the walls of the container. So that's the presentation of the particle model. Okay class, now that you know already the particle model of matter, now this time I'll be explaining the questions they asked a while ago, how does the ear hear sound? And allow me to share this presentation. Sound is a mechanical wave in which particles in the medium move the molecules in the medium back and forth from the fixed position. It is measured in decibels. Alright, so we encounter again the word medium. It is the one who carried the, the sound wave. So the medium can be, uh, can be solid, liquid, or gas. Okay class, can you hear that sound from the chicken? Now my question is that, how does that sound travel from the source to your ear? So here is the explanation. Alright, just like we heard a while ago, the sound of a chicken, we'll be using another um, representation in which it explains why can we hear sound. And we have the speaker and then going to the human ear. Alright. So obviously, so let's start first from the speaker. What is inside the speaker? Of course, we have that voice coil, or it, it, has, it has a coil of wire, typically aluminum or copper, which the electrical audio signal flows. The voice coil sits in front of the stationary fixed magnet and is connected to the cone, allowing application of the electromagnetic vibrations releasing sound waves into the air so there's a vibration happening inside all right next to it so as you can see once it releases to the air it creates disturbance and because of that disturbance of molecule it has a mechanical sound wave uh, so that that sound wave will be um, produced here there is a vibration that travel it creates a vibration that travel through the air or another medium and can be heard when they reach a person's or animal's ear. Sounds produced by continuous regular vibrations. It was uh, 
of course, it's, it is due to the disturbance of the particle. So, and then the sound waves enter the outer ear and travel through a narrow passageway called the ear canal, which leads to the eardrum. The eardrum vibrates from the incoming sound waves and sends these vibrations to three tiny bones in the middle ear. These bones are called the malleus, incus, and staves. So that's the reason why we are able to hear that sounds because of that process. In relation to the picture, it uh, it shows there that there is what it called longitudinal waves. That longitudinal waves travels in a straight direction, okay, moving in a parallel form. All right, so okay, from the speaker going to the ear, as you can see that there's a tiny dot there that signifies particle of matter. So that space for example the thick part is what we call compression and the scattered part of the particles are what we call the rare fraction so how how are these terms differ with each other again so as we all know that when you say compression compression refers to a region in a longitudinal wave where the particles are closest together while in the rare fraction it is a region in a longitudinal wave where the particles are farthest apart that that's that's what we have learned in our definition of term okay to give you a clear understanding about a sound wave so here is the anatomy of sound wave so as you can see the lines that are far from each other are what we call rare fraction and the lines that is closer to each other is what we call the compression to sum it up longitudinal waves particles vibrate in direction parallel to the direction of a propagation of the wave and of course it has a component compression and refraction and of course in longitudinal waves compression and refractions are formed another thing is that um, what's the effect of temperature of course applying heat to any of this medium will result to the faster vibration Okay, the molecules will vibrate faster if these molecules oh, or these particles will be heated. So that's it. So that's the effect of temperature in the particles of matter. So in heated molecules, of course, obviously, it will um, react or it will move faster because of the application of heat. Let's say, for example, if you're trying to boil water, right? The moment that the water will boil and reach the boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius, of course, look at the molecules. Of course, it's moving faster so there's application of heat so we can see that the particles move uh, faster compared than the usual the normal temperature i think we've answered already about the propagation of sound we've answered the objectives the effect of heat or temperature so we'll proceed now to the speed at the end of the module the learners should be able to a compare and contrast the speed of sound in different media b determine the effect of temperature on the speed of sound in science 7 you have learned that sound is a longitudinal wave that is made of series of compression and refractions human hearing ranges from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz this is also known as the audible range for human hearing sound with frequency higher than 20,000 hertz is known as ultrasound well, sound with frequency lower than 20 Hz is also known as infrasound. In this section, we'll focus on the speed of sound in different media. Alright, let's proceed now to the speed of sound in different media. Now, this, is, this was taken from your module. Or obviously, that in the picture, it says that if sound is caused by vibration of particles, it follows that sound travels fastest through solids, followed by liquids and then gases. Alright class, by looking at the figure itself, maybe you're asking, sir, why is it that um, sound can travel fastest in solids compared to liquids and gas? Well, the answer would be, take a look or um, observe in the arrangement of particle of matter. As you can see that there's a little space, uh, molecules are closer to each other, so it can vibrate easily because the molecules are closer to each other. In addition, generally sound waves travel most quickly through solids, followed by liquids, and then by gases. Particles of matter are closest together in solids and farthest apart in gases. When particles are closer together, they can more quickly pass the energy of vibrations 
to nearby particles. And that's it. Alright class, that ends our discussion regarding the sound, the propagation of sound and the speed of sounds. Well, thank you for listening and again see you in the next vlog. Bye everyone. <music>